well i think we're getting closer to exactly what we wanted where the dollar and the qqq is providing more nuance to the point where we can actually spot out the trades better and kind of fine tune the strategy a bit more so i'm going to show you exactly what happened today how the trade played out what i'm using the five minute chart on the dollar to actually like sniper shoot the trades better and let's just get into it so basically let me switch to the charts right now so basically today i only made one trade on the qqq to the buy side 20 shares i entered at 270 exactly at 9 30 when the market opened and closed it at 9 52. so let me show you exactly what was happening and the like the thought breakdown while i'm going into the trade so the first indicator i took was as you know i like to use the dollar because if the dollar is going down that's it's a higher probability that the market like the qqq is gonna go up probably the spy the iwm russell as well i'm a bit stuffy i hope it doesn't affect the quality of the sound but i use this black line to kind of separate where the day begins on both days so you have the black line on the eight o'clock candle on both the qqq and the dxy and i'm looking at the hour charts on both symbols at this time so as you can see even before the market was open the dollar had a lot of bearish movement which is why i was more bullish inclined to start the day because obviously something something was happening here it could have been even in the other stock market that just closed or open what is it either the london or the chinese stock market could have been movement from yeah it's the european market it could have been movement in the european market that was causing this and it just turned over into our new york stock exchange so this bearish movement in the dollar could have easily mean the bullish movement in the qqq and that's how i entered it today with 20 shares at 278.8 and i'll mark that exact entry now 278.8 278.8 so right about here let me extend this to get a better drawing 278.8 so right there is where I entered and I closed at the at a daily resistance level here. I draw these up like the night before or weeks before and then they tend to play out as the days go by. So I use the yellow lines as the dailies, the daily support and resistance and I use purple lines as those weekly support and resistances. And I just use those as my key levels for take profit, stop losses, etc. So I entered here and I sold it at 27307, which is right at this daily um, resistance level. This daily resistance level is where I sold out for the profit of 4230, which is a 2 to 1 risk reward there. And I could have made some more profits if I held it to the upside, but all the same, you don't want to be greedy. You want to always lock in profits and find a strategy that always works and you can just extract profit from the market consistently without exposing yourself to too much risk. So that's what I'm working on, just building that consistency, that profitability, right? So... I want to break down the dollar because I actually saw something about the dollar like while it's trading on the one hour that's nice you have the big candles on the one hour but if you kind of break it down to the five minute you can see that you can actually see more of what's going on so if I break it down to the five minute and you see when did the market open around 930 right you can see that 
the market never got above here. So if the market never made a new high, there would be generally no bearish movement on the QQQ because the dollar isn't going up. It's like the dollar kept going down, the dollar kept trending down, which would have been bullish for the QQQ. So while I'm while I have this trade going, I'm also monitoring the dollar on the five minute chart to ensure that it's not making new highs. It's not slowly grinding up. I could see that it was slowly grinding down. And while it was slowly grinding down, I could still hold my trade and just let it run. Right. So I also want to spot something else. So let me kind of zoom this up a bit more. See, as you can see, between 1150 11 55 and 12 that's like the lowest points on the qqq so we're gonna see if that actually matches up with the highest point the lowest point on the dxy my apologies and see if that matches up with the highest point on the qqq and i can actually bring it to the five minute chart so you can see the exact matching of it So if you go to 11.50 right here, 11.50, 12, what's this? 11.50, 12, 11.55, 12, 11.50, 11.55, 12. Okay. So right around here, it wouldn't have been the exact highest point of the market, but it's off by, I would say a couple cents. But if you use this to time your bottom on the dollar, you would have almost got the exact top of the top of the QQQ. So if you even went to the next bottom that it made and you could have even called this a higher low as the market started to kind of trend up. That's when the QQQ started to break down. That's when the QQQ started to break down. And if you hadn't exited your trade as yet, it would have just taken back all of your money right then and there. So let me see. This is 130, right? So let me see 130 on this. Okay. Okay, perfect. So you see 130 would have been your last chance to get out before a big drop. So right, you have 130 here. 130 here on the dollar that kind of bottom here on the dollar would have been probably your last chance to get out before these huge red candles pushing you down destroying a lot of your profits right now unless you wanted to take it to the downside which would have been an indicator for you to say probably flip and enter to that direction that could have been your strategy at that point and also let's look at this next bottom here which is 255 and 3 so at 255 and 3 the dollar found another bottom before starting to grind up and let's see where we would be here 255 and 3 so 255 look at 255 that was your last chance before it coming right back down to where you entered this morning possibly so let me see 9 30 this is your 9 30 candle this is your 9 30 open so if you had not exited at this bottom and what i like about the five minute chart and the dollar is that you can actually look at it and you can see it making a bottom it kind of come up make a top it make a higher low and then it starts to kind of grind up slowly if it's starting to grind up slowly there's a higher possibility of the qqq starting to go down but if you saw the dollar continue to break down and go lower and lower that would have been an indicator for us to continue playing the qqq to the upside so as you can see on this last bottom that would have been your probably the last chance to get out of your bullish place because that was just a huge red candle down right after that taking you from 
27241 to 27142. So that's a whole dollar move here. And depending on how many shares you're trading, you would have been exposed to that amount of risk, of course. So that's basically it what I wanted to share today. And I like that it's revealing so much to me and by extension you and whoever is watching this video because it's just exposing the the strategy a bit more how i can fine tune the strategy how i can really monitor the trade how i can know like within a few minutes if i'm right or wrong when the trade is really starting to go against me which is a lot about the risk management part of trading so that's basically it for today i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you tomorrow tomorrow is actually uh jerome powell day so you have the federal chairman speaking tomorrow speaking about the fed funds rate speaking about discount rates so that's generally a day where i don't really want to play the stock market because just him speaking can drastically move the market in any direction and sometimes you just don't want to be exposed to that because the market can get very irrational when it comes to certain type of news especially when it comes to interest rates or anything the the federal chair says so i'm not sure how i'm going to play it tomorrow there's a possibility i just set some like some sell stops at this level of support here and maybe even a, a buy stop at this level of resistance to catch it if it continues to go up or even here but the last time i didn't like how it played it seemed like it was very range bound and what it did it actually hit into my stop buys and when it hit into the stop by it just came right back into the range so it basically hit here activated the trade and just came right back into the range to just play with my money and i don't like that i don't like that at all so that's basically it for today we'll see how tomorrow plays out and we'll trade it from there hopefully just like today i can just make some profits within 30 minutes without having exposure to too much of that and probably just playing with house money as it relates to that news whenever it comes out. That's basically it for today. And I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.